between one and I get to pick which one, huh? <laughs> oh, he don't drink. You see what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have to drink them both. I'll cheers you. Hey man. Ah, uh, solo desprecio. Hey, hold that one. No, hold that one. Take the straw and put that one in there. That one in there. I can't take a shot from everybody. I'd be fucking on my face. <laughs> Trust me, I've had those nights. It's not pretty. Check YouTube. Check YouTube. It's there. It's there. You, you want to see me fucking... Having had too much to drink yet on stage entertaining for fucks YouTube. Yeah, there was a show in Orlando at the House of Blues in Disney. Yeah. Yeah, I might have been fucked up on that one too, I'm not sure. But this one in particular, I uh, I decided that I was going to walk out on stage in, in Disney World with a cigarette hanging out of my mouth, a Miller High Life in one hand, and a fifth of Jack Daniels in the other hand. I, I had a bit of a hair across my ass that evening, I'm not going to lie. And I drank that whole fifth of Jack on stage in an hour. Yeah. And then I came out for an encore. For an hour. I don't know, it was from what I told it was great. I was fucking blackout when I walked back out on that stage. I don't know what. I was told that I was told I went on a tirade about camel toe for about eight minutes. <laughs> I, I don't remember any song I played. I guess I, I finished the set with Outside. I, I, I... Woo! Woo! The, the main part of the set with the band was like 70 minutes. And, and by the time I was done with the encore, it was well over three hours. <laughs> I played a whole nother show, basically. Blackout drunk. <laughs>